Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. In the previous lesson, you have learned the difference between a prime number and a composite number. This time, we will discuss writing a given number as product of its prime factors. In order for us to write a given number as product of its prime factors, we're going to use prime factorization. Then what is prime factorization? Prime factorization is a method used to break down a given number into a product of prime numbers. It is also known as prime decomposition. If the number is expressed as a product of factors that are all prime numbers, the expression is called the prime factorization of the number. Again, what is prime number? Ang prime number, ito yung numbers kung saan ang kanyang factors ay dalawa lang, one and itself. Let's have an example on how a given number can be expressed as a product of prime factors. Express 16 as product of prime factors. So, 16. Isip kayo ng number na kapag pinag-multiply, ang sagot ay 16. Or think kayo ng factors ng 16. So, 8 times 2. Then, after natin makuha yung factors niya, i-identify natin yung dalawang factors kung siya ba ay prime or composite. So, yung natutunan nyo nung nakaraan, i-apply nyo dito. Again, 2 is already a prime number and 8 is a composite number. So, kapag composite yung number, kailangan pa natin siyang i-factor ulit. So, kunin ng factors ng 8, ito ay 4 times 2. Then, continue the process. I-identify ulit kung prime or composite. Since dito sa dalawang factors, ang 4 ay composite, so siya yung ating i-factor ulit. So, the factors of 4 is 2 times 2. Then, kapag nakuha na natin lahat ng prime factors, bilugan natin. Then, i-express na natin siya as product of prime factors. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, another example. 16 ulit. So, isip ka uli ng factors aside from 8 times 2. So, pwedeng 4 times 4. Okay, i-identify kung siya ba ay prime or composite. So, yung 4 and 4 ay composite number. So, kailangan natin siyang kunin ang factors. O, so, 2 times 2 and factors ng 4 ay 2 times 2. Okay. So, bilugan lahat ng prime numbers. Then, saka natin express as product of prime factors. Okay. So, we can also write uh, product of prime, pra prime factors use, uh, using exponential form. So, itong 2 to the 4th. Yung base natin ay 2, ito kasi yung ating inuulit ng apat na beses. Ito yung exponent natin, yung maliit na number. Okay, again, 2 tapos kung ilang beses siyang inulit. So, 2 ang base, tapos ilagay nyo sa taas o yung exponent kung ilang beses siya naulit or isinulat. There are two common methods in performing prime factorization. So, yung method na pinerform natin kanina, ang tawag natin doon is factor 3 method. Bakit siya tinabag na factor 3? Kasi para siyang puno ng mga factors. Okay, so let's have an example. 36. So, first step, we think two factors of 36. Since ang 36 is a composite number, so marami siyang factors. So, yung two pairs muna ng factors na ating iisipin or kukunin is 9 times 4. Okay. Then, after nating ma-identify or makuha yung factors ng 36, so, i-differentiate natin yung factor kung siya ba ay prime or composite. So, if the number is composite, get the factors. So, since 9 and 4 ang ating nakuhang factor and 9 is a composite number, and 4 is also a composite number, so we need to get the factors of 9 and 4. So, ang factors ng 9 ay 3 times 3. Then, we'll just continue until all the factors are prime. So, i-continue natin dahil ang 4 is composite. So, get the factors of 4. 
2 times 2. Bilugan natin yung mga prime. So, since 3 is prime and 2 is also prime number, bilugan natin siya. We can now write all the prime factors as product in exponential form. So, isulat natin lahat ng prime factors na ating nakuha. So, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Pag susulat natin as product of prime factors, uunahin natin yung maliit na number hanggang sa papalaking number. Okay, so, pag in-express natin itong 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 sa exponential form, nagiging ganito na siya. 2 raised to the second power or 2 squared times 3 squared. So, 2 yung ating base at itong malit na 2, 2 na to ang exponent. So, yun 2 yung magdidictate kung ilang beses natin sinulat ang base. So, 2 kaya 2 raised to the second power dahil dalawang beses natin isinulat or nag-appear yung base. Then, yung base na 3 ilang beses nag-appear? So, dalawang beses kaya 3 raised to the second power. The second method that we can use in performing prime factorization is we call continuous division. So, paano natin gagawin ang continuous division? So, napakahalaga ng method na to kasi gamit na gamit ito sa pagkuha ng GCF at LCM or LCD. Okay, so again, let's have an example, 36. So, think of a prime number that can divide 36 exactly. So, iisip ka naman dito ngayon ng prime number na pwedeng mag-divide sa 36 ng eksakto or walang sobra. So, kung naalala nyo yung mga divisibility rules natin, magagamit natin ito dito sa process or sa method na ito. So, yung 36 ay even number. So, therefore, divisible siya by 2. Then, divide the number. Okay, then let's divide 36 by 2 and write the quotient below the number. So, 36 divided by 2 is 18. Then, then we will just continue the process until we get 1. So, 18 is divisible by 2 since 18 is an even number. So, ang quotient ng 18 kapag dinivide sa 2 ay 9. Then, 9 is divisible by 3 and 3 is a prime number. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And again, 3 ay prime number so divisible siya sa sarili niya. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, stop na tayo dahil tayo ay nakakuha na ng 1. We can now write the prime factors as product in exponential form. So, ano-ano yung mga prime factors na nakuha natin? 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Or, kapag in-express natin siya sa exponential form, is 2 squared times 3 squared. So, we use different methods but still, we arrived at the same answer. Let us try this activity. Find the composite number named in each exponential form. So, we have 2 raised to the third power or 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5. Yung 5, hindi natin kukunin dahil prime number siya. I-expand lang natin itong 2 raised to the third power at 3 raised to the second power. So, magiging 2 times 2 times 2. Tatlong beses natin isusulat yung 2 dahil ang exponent niya ay 3. Then, Dalawang beses naman natin isusulat ang 3 dahil ang exponent niya ay 2. Then, multiply the numbers. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 and 3 times 3 ay 9. Then, multiply the two numbers. We will get 72 as the composite number for the exponential form 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5. Okay, another example. 2 raised to the 4th power times 5 cubed. So, how many times natin isusulat ang 2? Okay, so 4 times. Then, ilang times naman natin isusulat ang 5? Okay, 3 times. Then, multiply the expanded number or the expanded factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 
16, then 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, and multiply the two numbers, 125 times 16 is 2000 is the composite number for 2 to the 4th times 5 to the 3rd power. Always remember that in writing a prime factorization of a composite number, use factor 3 or continuous division. Then, divide the composite number by the possible smallest prime number. If the factors are still composite, repeat or continue the process until it becomes equal to 1. Then, express your answer or the prime factors in exponential form. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much!